Hi, this is Alicia, and today I want to tell you a story about something that recently happened to our team when we were setting up a new legal entity in Microsoft Dynamics C365 Finance and Supply Chain. So we created this particular client, already had, let's say, 10 legal entities, everything was working fine, and all of a sudden we created a new legal entity, but then none of the users could log in. They kept on getting this error message that says, access denied, you do not have sufficient permissions to open the menu item, default dashboard, please contact your system administrator. Well, we were all scratching our heads because we, being system administrators, could get in just fine. So we knew the legal entity was set up correctly and everything was good there, but none of the users could log in. So it really kind of got us a bit puzzled and thinking like, well, why is this happening? What's the solution for this? So today I want to take you through the process on how we determined what it was and the fix for it. So when we were in the system, we started saying, hey, let's give ourselves permissions just like those users and different things. And finally, we were able to reproduce the problem because initially we couldn't re even reproduce the problem. So then we started thinking, okay, this has to be role-based because a system administrator can get in, but the users can't get in. So we tried lots of different things. We started giving ourselves permissions to certain tables. So in other words, one of the users went in and went to like open AP invoices, for example, copied the URL and said, hey, can you get into this page with as, with, as a user? And sure enough, I could. And I was just like, well, gee, I can get into the application, but I can't get to the home screen. Well, if I can't get to the home screen, then how can I get anything done? So we started kind of digging into it a bit more and the issue was related to the user role or the legal entity associated with the system user. So let me show you this. So if you go under system administration users and I'm gonna pull up my user. Okay, so here I am. Now in here, I'm currently a sysadmin, but whenever you're at a user, to the system, you have roles and you have system user. Well, as you know, when you click on roles, you don't have this, this assign organizations is grayed out. So you have to click on the individual role and say assign organizations. So when we went to the system user, we kind of did the same thing. We went to the role and we're like, oh, well that's grayed out. So how can we assign anything? The issue is you have to sit on system user, the actual node, which again, doesn't isn't consistent because here in roles, you can't sit on the, the node and get as, assign organizations. So you have to click on system user, then you say assign organizations, and then here is where the new legal entity was not show, giving them access to it. So we actually had to go into the system user node and give them permissions to, so we had to say grant access, we had to find the legal entity, and then down here at the bottom, we had to say grant. So for some reason, which again, I feel like it used to not be that way because I don't remember ever doing this before, but when we added an illegal entity, we had to go to the system user node and actually grant permission to the new legal entity. Once we did that, everything was fine, life was good, and the users were able to log in. So I hope if you ever run into this, this will be a little bit of help for you.